all is now set for the 2022 Lagos Food Festival. Ahead of the event, the State Commissioner for Agriculture, Bisola Olusoya, says this year's edition will stoke the fires of Jollof rice war between Nigeria and other African countries. Plus TV News correspondent Lavi Koko Oyedokun brings us details in this report. <laughs> This media parley heralds the 2022 Lagos Food Festival, the sixth in a series. The annual event, formerly known as the Seafood Festival, aims to sensitize local and international markets to the state's numerous agricultural commodities and foods. It is also part of measures to promote seafood cultivation, local fish production, and enable investment opportunities in aquaculture. State Commissioner for Agriculture, Abisola Olusonya, throws more light on what's respect. Last year, for those of you that attended or were a part of it one way or the other or saw it um, across the various social media platforms on TV in the newspapers, you would attest to the fact that it was a massive success like we've never recorded before. And I believe it has to do with people coming into that space and recognizing the fact that whatever it was that they wanted, they could get it. It was not limited to seafood alone. And I mean, that's as a result of the fact that not everyone likes seafood. Not everyone can eat seafood. Some people are actually allergic to seafood. So we've just felt we just needed to broaden the scope and we saw how the turnout was last year. She discloses that over 25 million naira was realized from transactions at the 2021 festival. The government is expecting nothing less from this year. For 2022, since we're expanding the scope to be Taste of Africa, we're expecting to even have more people, we're expecting to have more vendors, and since we're partnering with the Culinary Institute as well, we expect that more people will turn out, more stakeholders in the food producing sector of the agriculture um, industry will turn out, and we should have more even in terms of transactions. But the key takeaway for this year's food fest is for people to come and have fun. This year's edition has as a theme, a taste of Africa. It is expected to attract chefs from Lagos, Nigeria, and other African countries. Bolabo Adebalke is one of them. We want to do something really interesting uh, with the taste of Africa. We're going to curate um, an Afrofusion menu using um, ingredients that are unique to Lagos State, some of the things that you know already that are very popular in Lagos. We're going to be taking them and we're going to be recreating them um, in a fusion style using international techniques. Um, there are a lot of techniques that are being used today across the world that we also use in Nigeria. We're not inferior to some of these things. We already use them on a daily basis. A Just like previous ones, this year's edition will feature a wide range of fresh products, organic groceries, dry food, confectionery, pastries, ready-to-eat consumables and drinks, as well as entertainment and many more. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.